Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be giving you my review of the Lansano Smart Pump Double Electric Breast Pump. Before I get started, I wanted to mention the video that I have made previously before all my different breast pump reviews, and I go into depth the different things that I wanted to review on them and just explaining why I chose certain things, so I will have that linked for you guys to check out. Also, comfort is not going to be a review point. I've explained this before, but that is different for everybody. Everybody needs something different. Everybody has different pain thresholds, so that is not going to be a point that I critique it on, but I will mention my experience with it at the end of the video. And normally I don't offer comparisons, but since this smart pump is closely related to a different pump, I wanted to quickly mention one. When I saw the smart pump in person, I wondered if their smart pump was like the Lansano Signature Pro, which I've already reviewed and I'll have that link for you as well. So when I reached out to Lansano and I asked them some questions, they said this is in fact the same motor, but just know you're getting a ton more with the smart pump than you are with the Lansano Pro. So they are genuinely the same motor. So if you like the Lansano Pro, you're gonna like the smart pump, but the smart pump does offer a ton more. So that's the only kind of comparison I wanted to briefly talk about because I know I was wondering those things as well. But other than that, I'm not gonna give any more comparisons. If you guys have certain comparison videos you would like me to do comparing it to another pump, leave that in the comments below and I will gladly do that for you guys. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is the motor itself. Like I said, it looks a lot like the Leon Snow Signature Pro. So when you turn the pump on, this is what it sounds like because it doesn't have any tubing, but over here is the decreased suction as you can see. This is the increased suction. This is to get you in and out of let down mode or that two phase expression I mentioned. Then when you go to expression mode, you will be able to mess with the modes over here. You'll be able to choose from three different ones and you'll be able to hear the difference in them. Now, I normally stay on mode 2, and that's what I like. As you can see, it also did have a light-up LCD screen. It does also shut off after an hour of use. And then this is the box that it comes in. It was all nice and, like, perfectly kept because I had it in, like, one corner of my room, and then Sophie sat on it, so... It's like a little crush now, but this is the box that it comes with and as you can see there's a ton to it So I'm gonna read on the back here what it all comes with so you know what I'm referencing to when I get into the review But it comes with a motor obviously like I've already shown you it comes with four five ounce bottles Which are these ones right here? These are also the Lance Snow mama bottles. I should say there's two bottle stands There is two connector pieces, which is this piece right here the entire thing there is four lids, two different size phalanges, an entire set, so four phalanges all together. There is an entire set of tubing. There are four white membranes, which is what is on the underside of your connector, these things right here. So there's four of those. Then there is the wall adapter, of course. There is two different collars and nipples for the mama bottles themselves. There's a traveling bag, there's a cooler bag, and then there's an ice pack. And I will show you guys more in depthly about those things, but it does come with this bag. Like I mentioned, I actually really like it. There's a little bit of padding to it. It's not a huge bag or cumbersome or anything. It's pretty nice size, especially since with the Lansano pumps, you don't need to carry a whole bunch because the motor is so small. I showed you the five ounce bottles. And then this is the cooler bag that you get. It's a pretty good size cooler bag. Then inside there I have the bottle stands and then this is the ice pack. Like the ice packs, no complaint about any of this stuff so far that I've mentioned. This is what your tubing looks like basically. <laughs> So that's everything with that. Then the two different size flange, like I had mentioned, this is the 25 and then this is the 30. This is what they call large and this is extra large. So that's a little reference for you. And then it does come with the wall adapter. And it did come with like some samples of the bags and the pads and stuff like that. Obviously it comes with a pump manual and then because it is a smart pump, which means it can connect to your smartphone or smart devices via Bluetooth, it does come with a little pamphlet to help you troubleshoot and start 
up the app that it comes with. Well, you have to download it on your phone, but I will touch on that here in a second. That was just a brief overview of everything. Now I'm gonna run through my points on what I was critiquing it on, but the first one is price. This retails for $200, although I've seen it on Amazon go on sale for 140, which is a steal. Number two, function and ease of use. I feel like it's pretty easy, but at the same time, it's customizable and you can kind of make it what you need. Number three is recommendation the reviews. Online it has almost five stars. That was out of like 900 reviews so it's not like that rating was just pulled out of nothing and I feel like there's still not a lot of talk about it although as of recently I've seen more and more people kind of talk about their use with the Lansano pumps but I still haven't heard a ton on it. So as for number four, the portability and power options, it does have the wall adapter as well as the battery pack on the back. It takes six AA batteries. So I find that this is super portable. I have actually used this with the batteries. I probably got about two and a half hours of use out of it. Obviously, I want to say it would probably depend on the brand of uh, batteries you're using because you know maybe crappy batteries die faster I don't really know that stuff I let my husband buy the batteries but I did use it with the batteries in the suction and everything is completely as it would be if you had a wall adapter which I think is great because a lot of the times when you're using a battery pack or a car adapter you have to sacrifice some of the suction on it not with this thing it works perfectly and since it is so small it's super portable the batteries obviously do add a little bit of weight to it, but not much. So number five is accessibility to replacement or spare parts. They do have a store online where you can buy each individual piece, which I appreciate being an exclusive pumper. Sometimes like something weird breaks on your pump and you just need one little tiny part and you can't ever get it. But with Lance, no, they do sell, they have different sets. They have some with bottles, some with the connectors, some of the, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. I'll have it linked down below for you guys if you're looking for spare parts. I would still really love to see them, get them in store, make them more widely available to moms because I would just love to be able to run to the store and get what I need and not have to wait on a shipment, especially if someone's an exclusive pumper and they really can't go without their pump. Number six is customer service and it is excellent. The first smart pump that I got, I had a problem with the Bluetooth syncing up to the app. It just wasn't working right and they actually said, we know this problem, we're gonna send you out a new pump and it was literally here in two days. It was craziness. They were so helpful, they were so quick to fix the problem. The next one, number seven, is durability this is a super durable pump it is my everyday pump i use this to pump five or six times a day every single day and i have not had a problem with it whatsoever you know it gets knocked off the couch it gets knocked off the end stand and i have taken it places and i've never had a problem with it whatsoever the last one is number eight and it is noise level this is so so it's not the loudest pump but it's also not the quietest either as for two phase expression this pump does offer that. If you don't know what that is, it's basically mimicking baby's natural sucking pattern where it sucks really quick at first to stimulate milk and then it does more long drawn out sucks to then express milk. So this pump does offer it and it automatically starts off in that two phase expression and it will shut off and go to expression mode after two minutes, but you're able to alternate in and out of that mode. A nursing baby sucks between 45 to 55 times a minute. Anything under a 25 cycle rate likely isn't going to be effective in drawing out milk, so you want something above that. So since there isn't a lot of talk on this, I had to do it myself and basically on the medium setting, I found that it has a 77 cycle rate. So I think that's pretty good because it gives you leeway if you need to go down in suction, but it also does give you obviously a ton of leeway to go up. So that was pretty good. This pump is a closed system. That is the mechanism on top of the connector right here. This is what makes it a closed system, this purple little diaphragm right here, and you put it back on. That's what keeps it closed but it is supposed to be a single user pump. So now I wanna talk about the app itself with you guys. It doesn't cost anything, so you can download it right now with or without the pump, and you can see what it's all about, see what it has to offer. It is a pretty all-inclusive app. It tracks growth and diapers. It tracks bottle feeding, pumping, nursing, all that stuff, but I'm going to just focus on the recording of pump sessions right now. You do connect your app to your pump by this little thing down here, this little sticker, and basically you just scan it with your smartphone, and that's all it does to take 
to set it up which i think is really cool obviously you can customize it with your baby's name and all the information about them when you pull the app up and you turn your pump on it's going to immediately take you to the pumping screen you'll see that it is tracking how long you've been pumping for you're going to need a pump session to last longer than two minutes for it to save but once you're done and you're ready to save everything you just put in how much you've pumped and you can even make little notes to yourself then you hit save it's going to go to your history and you've recorded it now you can go back and you can edit things there's also this icon right here which when you hit it it gives you tips and stuff like that which i think is really awesome because a lot of them are encouraging and you can also go over to this charts button which shows you all the different obviously progress that you've been making and just kind of compares everything which i think is pretty cool you can also set alarms for different times of the days or different days of the week. But like I said, it's a pretty all-inclusive app. But right now, I'm going to go over my experience with the pump. And then I'm going to be going over my experience with the app. Now, on to my experience with the pump. I absolutely love it. When you ask me what my favorite breast pump is, this is the one that I recommend. Also, the Signature Pro because they are the same motor for all intents and purposes. But I absolutely love this pump. It's great. I love that it's closed system. I love that it's customizable. Those modes make all the difference for me because I do not believe that one size fits all when it comes to breast pumps. I do get the general what's the best breast pump question and there's just no definitive answer for that because everybody needs something different. So I feel like you get a lot of different options with this pump. Ever since I have used it with those batteries, I have come to greatly appreciate the battery pack that it's included with. I love that it's not an extra accessory that you have to pay for. It's just already included in your pump. It's great, especially because with this unpredictable weather, we've been having lots of power outages. So it's been great because I've been able to still use the pump that I love and not have to go to my car to do that. The reason that this pump is my favorite is because it is comfortable. The reason I suggest it so often is because it's so customizable. Those two things in and of itself is the reason why I love this pump so much. I love the fact that this pump is gentle, but it still packs a punch. Like I have mentioned before, I need a high suction, but at the same time, I can't have something super mechanical, especially with my long pump sessions, because it just makes everything raw and hurt and just, it's awful. So I like the fact that it has a vibration, it has a hum to it, it makes it a little bit more gentler than some pumps. Also, I like the fact that it has a decent amount of suction to it. Everyday use, I use this. I start off in simulation mode right here, and then when I switch out of it, I normally just bump it up to two right away. And if I've been pumping for a little bit and I can't get a let down, then I'll pump it up to three. But that's as far as I go, like right there. Now, when I start off in the morning, my very first pump of the day, which I'm pretty engorged for, I will start off right there. So at three. And then I'll come out of that and I'll stay right here until I get to a certain point and then I will bump it up to three. But I literally don't go past three ever. So as you could see, I had a ton more space that you can go up. The only things that I don't like, which are the same things as last time, it's just the fact that the buttons do rub off. I really wish they could make some kind of like coating or something for the buttons. I mean, it's, it's minimal. It's like basically nothing in comparison to everything you get with it but still and I would really like to like I said see those replacement parts in store just more accessibility to them I did want to mention that I found that other pump parts actually do work with this as I've mentioned before the Medela flange do work you're gonna need just the single flange you can see I'm pushing it right in here this is the 21 millimeter that I use on a daily basis and it fits in there just fine and then I wanted to show you this hack that my friend Keek showed me. Thank you, Keek, so much. But this is a Hygieia adapter. You can find them on Amazon. I will have them linked down below. But you just screw it on here. It's their wide mouth adapter. And then that's what it's going to look like, as you can see. And then this is a Dr. Brown's bottle. And then this is just going to screw into here, if I can ever get it. There we go. So there you go. Now you can pump into standard bottles. Amazing game changer you guys know i have a ton of standard bottles so i was really really grateful to find that hack out and also the regular just 
this connector fits Juvie and Mam. So I want to mention that too. About my experience with the app, I love it. It's perfect for me. Like I said, I had that little hiccup with like the syncing up of my pump to the app, but I got in touch with customer service and we got that straightened out. And ever since then, I've had absolutely no problems with it. I think it's really, really great. I absolutely love it because I was the worst, the worst when it came to other apps making sure I ended the pump session because I would use the timer aspect on those apps, but I would always forget to turn the timer off. So the next time I pulled it up, I was pumping for, I was pumping for like three hours. So I like the fact that it just saves with you turning off your pump. That's the easiest thing in the world. Like I said, it's an all-inclusive app, which I can appreciate because you don't have to download a ton of different apps. You can just track it all in the same place, which I really like. There's only three things that I don't like about the app. The first one, and I feel like it's probably going to be the most obvious to you guys, is the fact that the icons say pumping, breastfeeding, and bottle feeding, when in actuality it should say pumping and nursing and bottle feeding. Because pumping is breastfeeding, it's just a different form of it, so I really feel like that could be switched. I wish there was a timer option when it came to alarms and not just setting them for certain times of the day, certain days of the week. I do like that. I think that'd be especially useful for moms who pump at work at certain times and whatever, but I feel like for myself being a stay-at-home mom, I pump every three hours from the point of when I finished when I got a chance to pump. So that's not always a set time. I don't always have a set schedule. I kind of just, you know, it kind of varies. So I genuinely stay within a guideline, but I would really like to see just a timer alarm on it. That'd be really awesome. But all in all, my verdict behind this pump is that it's amazing for the price point, especially if you get it on sale. I mean, $140 for all this, that's craziness. The fact that there are so many different possibilities, I've provided you guys with some hacks just in case you don't have, you know, certain parts and stuff to kind of make it work for you guys. There's just so much versatility to this pump. It's amazing. I feel like it can work for a lot of different moms. It just is very all-inclusive and versatile all the way through, through the pump, through the accessories, through the app, everything all together. I've really, really been happy with it and I definitely recommend it if you're on the market for a pump. That is everything that I have for this review of the Lansano Smart Pump Double Electric Breast Pump. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.